What's up, y'all? e Sports in the building. It is Sunday, Domingo. You know what it is. NFL gave you the college football. I was wrong, so I'm going to give you what I think the top four should be. It's a little after, what, 11 a.m. Eastern, so soon we'll know what it is. Um, props to the winners last night. You know, Clemson, Oklahoma, Georgia, Ohio State, Friday, USC won. My four for the college football playoff is simple. Clemson, Oklahoma, Georgia, and I'd have to give it to Alabama. Ohio State got spanked by Oklahoma and at Iowa. Alabama, even though they're injured and not super great, they did lose to Auburn in Auburn. Rivalry game. You say their wins aren't so great. Mississippi State, LSU, Florida State in the beginning of the season when they were still number three and their quarterback, Francois, was still there. So we'll see what happens. You know, you can't cry too much. NFL, let's do it. Fantasy football last week, you got you to you gotta win to get in the playoffs. Win, you play to win the game. Let's see if Herm gets the Arizona State job. Um, Vikings should take care of the Falcons. Should be a close game. Should be fun to watch. I'm going to bounce all over. I don't have the schedule in front of me and all that stuff. Chargers should blow out the Browns. Um, Sunday night football. I think the Eagles are going to go into Seattle and stake claim that the Eagles are better bird than a Seahawk. What the heck is a Seahawk? What, what is a Seahawk? So anyway, um, I'll say they pulled that one out like 27-20. I think the Bills... They give the Patriots a little bit more of a game. I know it's like about eight, eight and a half point spread. I think the Bills, you know, a little surprise, maybe 27-23 New England. Is that fair? That's fair, right? Um, but Patriots will still win. Um, I think Green Bay could beat Tampa Bay. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he'll get you the two touchdowns and then he'll get you the two interceptions. And Huntley's starting to look better, you know. You know, I got uh, the kids doing their thing right now, playing the, their Lego Marvel Superhero, Superheroes Part 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, It takes two to make a thing go right. Shout out to Rob Bass. What? It takes two to make it out of sight. Um, the Giants. Hey, listen, it's the first time that the Giants have ever in franchise history started an African-American quarterback in Geno Smith, a brown human being. So they're the last team in the NFL to do it. The Raiders don't have Cooper or Crabtree, so it's a bad game because Geno's no good, no, no bueno. But I do think they're demoralized because they benched Eli, and there's no reason for that. No reason to bench Eli Manning. So I do think the Raiders will get that victory. Dolphins, Broncos, should I even start Jarvis Landry at wide receiver for my fantasy football team? I'm going with Cooper Cup with the Rams over the Cardinals in a close game. Um... Maybe 26-20 for the Rams. But I think the Broncos will show a little bit of pride because they've been prideless, prideless, mindless lately. The Broncos got to have some heart. No Talib Kweli, but they still got Roby and Chris Harris at corner. Um, and Jay Cutler's back to throw some interceptions. So the Broncos will win a close game about like 20-17. to 17. Uh, Should be a fun and, and interesting week. In the NFL, my calls, my cleats, like a thousand players are rocking different cleats. Um, did Malcolm Jenkins sell out the whole social justice? The NFL is promising supposedly 89 million over the next however many years. Kaepernick still ain't got a job. Uh, Eric Reese said, I'm not down with that. There are no guarantees of where the money's going. I, look, I don't know. I can't imagine that we're thinking that the NFL and 89 million is going to help inner cities and really social justice and police brutality and all that stuff. That's, that's, that's not real, is it? Do you think that's going to do things over 400 years of oppression and slavery? Come on, come on, come on. Anyway, it's positive. It's a good start. You know what I'm saying? Just, just change your heart. That's all you got to do. Just change your heart. We're all related. We're all cousins, dozens. You understand? Yeah, you do understand. You know you do. <laughs> you wouldn't want to walk in my shoes. You understand? So, um, or any black man's shoes in this country. But anyway, so I think 
the Chargers are going to be making that run. Oh, the Ravens-Lions game. Oh, I bugging almost forgot, like Sadat X on the spot, brand Nubian. So I would say this, and yeah, I used to rock uh, Oz with my man Lord Jamal. Yeah. We used to have some real hip-hop rhymes on that set up on Oz, HBO, down in the Chelsea area. You know what I'm saying? Cats know about E complete. Used to rip it up in Oz. But anyway, um, I think the Lions beat the Ravens. Prater, Tucker battled the field goal kickers. Ravens have a better defense. But Matthew Stafford, the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, is a little bit better than Joe Flacco, I would say. Um, 26-23 to edge him out. Prater for 47. Good. Um, yeah, I told you the Rams will win. I think when it comes down to it, like Mike Pruitt, who knew it, the Jaguars will beat the Colts. Probably will cover that spread. Let's go for 24-16. Um, but they need to get Eli Manning. Blake Bortles is, is not the answer. So I wish everybody luck in their fantasy football. Can't wait for the college football playoffs. See what happens in about an hour or now, about 50 minutes. And, um, yeah. Let's see what else. What, what, what else. what else do you need? Tweet at Erom Sports. Follow me on Twitter. Check out at Ecomplete. Ecompleteentertainment.com. Dropping bombs. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Don't you understand? You got to break the bare arms. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. But mentally, you should have the flow with the charm. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Don't you understand that it's more than a... Yeah, you gotta laugh. Sports and music, you need to choose it because uh, the rest of the world is crazy, look crazy. So, I'm trying to think, was there any other games? Did, 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 I leave, did I leave your team out? The Jets! What am I bugging? I'm a native New Yorker. My second favorite team. The Jets are gonna upset the Chiefs. How about that? Now, I took, the, I took the Jets in my picks, but I thought the Chiefs would be able to pull it out and win. The spread's like four, five and a half or something crazy, whatever. I was thinking the Chiefs would win like 24-23, 26-24. I'm going to take the Jets with the upset. How about Robbie Anderson going to the Pro Bowl, Josh McCown throwing for 250 yards and two touchdowns, no picks, and Alex Smith getting picked off, but Darrell Rivas will get an interception. How about that? Or something against the Jets in New York. So anyway, with that, I got, I got to, I got to go. I got to go, yo. Oh, Tennessee will beat the Texans. Mariota at home is a different dude, Delaney Walker, starting him in fantasy, but Mar- Mariota will get it done. Um, over the Texans, what? Maybe, how do you like 26 to 19? Do you like that? I like that. Do you like that? I like that. Do you guys like that? They like that. The kids like that. So, anyway, get ready for the college football playoff. And it'd be dope if they just put in USC and then had Bama and Ohio State playing together in a bowl game against each other. We would all want to see that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to see Clemson spank Ohio State like they did last year. That don't make no sense. Ohio State, JT Barrett's a boom. He's a bum glad man. You call it like I see it. You understand? Show some respect. Peace.